Hi, I'm Lauren Bennett, and you're watching The Brief. On Friday, women's soccer club took on Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and lost in a close game 1-0. On Saturday, they took on Long Beach State, and let's just say the odds were not in their favor. Long Beach State had complete possession of the ball during the first half, easily scoring the first goal. CSUN midfielder Julie Mendoza had a nice attempt, but fell short on the follow through. During the second half, Rachel Foreman, CSUN goalie, blocked two close calls. CSUN midfielder Haley Worrell had a strong kick but barely missed the goal. Long Beach State didn't let the Mad Door score once. Final score, Long Beach 2, CSUN 0. Head coach Chris Walcher talks about moving on with the next season. At the beginning of the season we added a bunch of new players so the task at hand was really just chemistry building um, and I feel like we absolutely got that job done this season. Uh, the result didn't always fall in favor of us, but in terms of pre-gaming for next season and the season after that and really building a strong competitive club, uh, we're on the right path. So in terms of tomorrow's game, since it is the last uh, game of the season, really just want the girls to go out there and have fun. Uh, remember all the tools and lessons that we learned this season and uh, yeah, just go out there and remind ourselves why we're so passionate about the sport. That's the best we could ask for. Unfortunately, they did not make it to the regionals, but their season was not over quite yet. We will check in with them shortly. And on to men's soccer club. The B team took on Chapman University on Saturday, and they did not do so well. CSUN midfielder Christian Ibenez scored an unassisted goal, starting the Mad Doors on the right foot. There was also a nice save by CSUN goalkeeper Joel Wan. But Chapman had an excellent free kick assist leading to a goal. During the second half, CSUN's defense continued to stop multiple goal attempts, but lack of communication and teamwork led to an easy goal. Updated score 2 1. CSUN was able to secure a tie. Goalkeeper Joel Wan spoke about why they didn't win. We lost our heads, we lost the ball possession, we pointed fingers, we stopped playing. But I mean, we'll get them next time. You know who also tied on Saturday? Was the CSUN ice hockey team to the ASU Sun Devils 2-2. Coincidence? And congrats to the CSUN men's A soccer team for defeating Bakersfield College 3-1. And congratulations to the CSUN Fast Mode Dance Crew for placing second in the Step Show competition at the Ontario Hotel. And last Sunday, men's CSUN soccer club team took on Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. And let me tell you folks, there is nothing slow about this game. Cal Poly had good ground passes to each other, which resulted in their first goal. The Mustangs shot a nice curveball in the top right of the net for a 2-0 lead. CSUN then found their momentum and scored their only goal of the half. The score was 2-1 at halftime. CSUN scored after a foul happened in the box, resulting with a penalty kick. The score was tied when Cal Poly ran past the CSUN goalie and made the final score 3-2. CSUN's women's soccer club took on USC on Sunday. With this being their last game, they really gave it their all. For the first goal, the Trojans had a breakaway and faked the CSUN goalie to put them in the lead. Later in the first half, CSUN midfielder Francesca Vasquez got to a long ball and placed it perfectly in the left part of the net. The game was tied 1-1 at half. With six minutes to go in the second half, USC had a corner and was able to score to win 2-1. CSUN ice hockey took on ASU Sun Devils again on Sunday, but this time they were defeated 4-0. It's been a pretty tough week for us Matadors, so how about we take this weekend off and enjoy Halloween? Huh? From all of us here at MSN,
please follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. Have a great relaxing weekend. Go trick-or-treating and be safe. Have a great week, my adores.